The Russian takeover of Avdivka is the country's biggest battlefield win in months, and Ukrainian soldiers were reported to have been holed up in that plant. Well, for the latest on all of this, let's bring in Gulliver Krag, our Ukraine correspondent. He joins us now from the city of Druzhkivka, which is also in the east of Ukraine. Gulliver, it's good to talk to you today. Just give us a sense of where you are in relation to Avdivka, in relation to the front line and the mood among Ukrainian soldiers there. Well, I think it's about 55 kilometers to the south uh, of Divka, so we're some way from that front line. The soldiers who one meets in Drushkivka are usually soldiers who are deployed in the area around Bakhmut to the south and the north of Bakhmut. Soldiers who I spoke to this morning had been fighting in that area and they really were not mincing their words about how much difficulty the Ukrainian army is in. This defeat in Avdiivka, the retreat from Avdiivka, is a symbolic and demoralizing defeat for the Ukrainians. Even though it's not a very big town and perhaps strategically speaking on the battlefield it's not of a huge significance and the Ukrainians can be proud that since May last year when they took Bakhmut, the Russians haven't managed to take anything of any significance. But nevertheless, what the retreat from Avdiivka says about the state of the Ukrainian armed forces, that's what is extremely worrying. Because as they are saying themselves, the reason they had to pull out of Avdiivka is because they are running short of pretty much everything. The soldiers I spoke to this morning said it's not just about artillery, it's also about drones. The Russians have a huge numerical advantage in terms of drones there as well. And they're attacking at the moment at five different locations all along the front line in the east and the south. Soldiers here who I spoke to this morning actually said, though, that perhaps the place to watch for the next Russian advance was not in the Donbass, but in the south of the country, where they are trying to um, reclaim the modest gains that the Ukrainians made this summer with their counteroffensive in Zaporizhia region, in particular the, the village of Robotine. So significant concerns then by Ukrainian soldiers you've been talking to. What about the civilians? Well, you know, here in Drushkivka, people are looking to the south and in between them and Avdiivka and the front line, there is Konstantinivka. And there's also the town of Chasivyar in between Konstantinivka and Bakhmut. If either of those places look like falling to the Russians, then people here will start to get very worried indeed. Actually, the waitress in the restaurant where I had lunch told me that she had her suitcase already packed. She was watching the news very closely and she would absolutely leave if she thought the Russians were coming anywhere near to Drushkivka. But a lot of people tell you that they just can't do that, that they either have elderly relatives that they can't leave behind or that they don't have the money, they don't have anywhere to go, they don't know how they would pay the rent anywhere else. Gulliver Craig reporting for us there. Thank you very much indeed.